This is Alexis, an intelligent and passionate man who has dedicated his life to the study of the stars. He is warm, friendly, and approachable, always willing to share his knowledge and enthusiasm with others. His curiosity is insatiable and he loves nothing more than to explore the mysteries of the universe. He has been working on the time machine. It's been his sole focus for quite some time now, ever since his wife and daughter passed away. He has been hoping to use it to go back in time and change the events that led to their loss, but he is not quite there yet. The machine has the capability to take him back to any point in history, but there are some risks involved. He has been making sure he overcomes them. Alexis gazed up at the night sky, his eyes fixed on a faint smudge of light. The stars, he thought, had always held a special allure for him. As an astronomer, he had spent countless hours studying them, trying to unravel their mysteries. And it was this very passion that led him to discover an ancient manuscript hidden away in a dusty corner of the university library. The manuscript, written in an archaic language he had never encountered before, claimed to hold the key to time travel. At first, Alexis dismissed it as a hoax. But as he delved deeper, he began to suspect that the manuscript might be genuine. The more he studied it, the more convinced he became that its cryptic instructions could, in fact, be used to manipulate time itself. Determined to prove his theory, Alexis dedicated the next several months of his life to deciphering the manuscript. He learned the long-lost language, mastered the complex mathematical formulas and scientific theories it contained. Finally, after countless hours of painstaking work, he succeeded. Using the knowledge gleaned from the manuscript, he built a time machine in his modest laboratory. His initial experiments were promising, but it wasn't until he dared to test the machine on himself that he knew for certain it worked. With a shaky breath, he stepped into the machine and set the dial to the past. The world around him began to spin, and he felt a strange sense of disorientation as he was flung through time. When he finally regained his bearings, he found himself standing in a field of wildflowers, the warm sun beating down on his face. It was then that he realized he had traveled back to the day before his wife and daughter had died in a tragic car accident. His heart raced with hope as he raced towards their home, desperate to warn them of the impending disaster. But as he drew closer, he noticed something amiss. The house was empty, and there was no sign of them anywhere. Panic rising in his throat, he frantically searched the neighborhood, but to no avail. Alexis stood in the center of the bustling marketplace, his heart pounding with anticipation and dread. He scanned the crowd, searching for any familiar faces amidst the sea of strangers. It had taken him weeks to navigate the complexities of time travel, but now that he had arrived in the past, he was faced with the harsh reality of his situation. His wife, once the love of his life, was nowhere to be found. He had expected her to be here, in this very marketplace, selling her wares as she did every day. But she was nowhere in sight. His heart sank as he realized that he had made a terrible mistake. The manuscript had been vague about the exact date and time he would arrive, and it seemed he had miscalculated. He wandered aimlessly through the market, his eyes filling with tears. How could he have been so foolish? He had risked everything to come back in time and save his family, only to lose them all over again. He cursed himself for not having the foresight to prepare for this possibility. He should have brought a map, a compass, anything that could have helped him navigate the unfamiliar terrain. As he walked, he couldn't help but take in the sights and sounds of the marketplace. Vendors sold everything from exotic fruits and vegetables to handcrafted jewelry and pottery. The rich aroma of roasting meats filled the air, and the bright colors of fabrics and textiles danced before his eyes. Despite his despair, Alexis couldn't help but be drawn in by the vibrancy of the scene. Eventually, he spotted a woman who bore a striking resemblance to his late wife. Her features were similar, but her hair was longer and she wore a different style. Her clothes were more modest than what he remembered his wife wearing, but there was no mistaking the familiarity he felt when he looked at her. He approached her cautiously, his heart pounding in his chest. Excuse me, he said, trying to steady his voice. I'm looking for someone. Her name is Emily. Do you know her? The woman looked at him with curiosity, her eyes narrowing. She glanced around as if searching for someone else before responding. I'm sorry, but I don't know anyone by that name. Alexis felt a pang of disappointment. It wasn't her. He had been hoping against hope that it was. He thanked the woman and turned to leave, his shoulders slumped in defeat. As he wandered away, he spotted a young girl who bore a strong resemblance to his daughter. She was laughing and playing with a group of other children, her carefree spirit shining through. 
Alexis's heart ached to see her so happy and free, knowing that the life she led was vastly different from the one she could have had with him and her mother. Eventually, the girl noticed him watching her and broke away from her friends. She walked over to him, a curious expression on her face. Hello, sir, she said, her voice tinged with innocence. Can I help you with something? Alexis looked into her eyes and saw the spark of intelligence and determination that he knew was inherited from his wife. He took a deep breath, stealing himself for what he was about to say. Yes, he said, his voice trembling slightly. I'm your father. The girl's eyes widened in surprise, and for a moment, Alexis thought she might cry. But then, to his astonishment, she smiled. Oh, she said, her expression softened. That's nice to know. She paused, considering his words. But I already have a father, she added, gesturing to the man who was playing with the other children. His name is Thomas. Alexis felt a lump form in his throat. Of course, she had grown up without him. He should have expected that. It was then that he realized he had traveled back to the day before his wife and daughter had died in a tragic car accident. His heart raced with hope as he raced towards their home, desperate to warn them of the impending disaster. But as he drew closer, he noticed something amiss. The house was empty, and there was no sign of them anywhere. Finally, he collapsed to the ground, weeping uncontrollably. It was then that he realized the truth, he had changed the course of history. His presence in the past had altered the events that led to their deaths. As he sat there, tears streaming down his face, he wondered if he had done the right thing. Was it better for them to have died, or for him to have saved them and altered their fate? The sun began to set, casting long shadows across the field. Alexis knew he couldn't stay here forever. With a heavy heart, he returned to his time machine and set the dial once more, this time traveling back to the present. As he stepped out of the machine, he closed his eyes and took a deep breath, trying to steady his racing thoughts. As Alexis contemplated the events that had transpired, he realized with a start that his actions had been nothing short of disastrous. His attempts to bring back his late wife and daughter had not only failed but had also left him with a profound sense of loss and guilt. He knew that he could not continue down this path any further, he had to find a way to set things right. The decision was agonizing but he knew it was the only choice. He had to live with the knowledge that he had forever altered their lives, and that he could never truly give them the happiness they deserved. His wife, now resigned to her fate, had accepted the fact that she could never return to her old life. She had grown to love her new husband and their children, and the thought of leaving them behind was almost unbearable. His daughter, too, had found a sense of purpose and belonging in the community she had grown up in. The thought of being uprooted from everything she knew and loved was almost unthinkable. Determined to make the best of the situation, Alexis threw himself into his work, pouring his heart and soul into his research. He dedicated himself to finding a way to undo the damage he had caused and to ensure that the timeline was restored to its proper course. Years passed and his efforts began to pay off. He made breakthrough after breakthrough, each one bringing him closer to his goal. Finally, after decades of relentless work, Alexis completed his masterpiece, a device that could reverse the effects of time travel and restore the timeline to its original state. With a trembling hand, he activated the device, and the world held its breath. When the dust settled, Alexis emerged from his lab, his face etched with weariness and determination. The universe had been saved, and the timeline had been restored. But for Alexis, the greatest triumph was the knowledge that he had done everything in his power to right the wrongs he had committed. He had honored the memories of his wife and daughter and in the process had saved countless other lives. As he looked out at the world around him, Alexis knew that he had finally found peace. The ghosts of the past had been laid to rest and the future now held the promise of new beginnings. He had learned the hard way that the consequences of meddling with time were far-reaching and irrevocable. But out of that pain had come a newfound understanding of the fragility of life and the importance of cherishing every moment. And so, Alexis continued his work, dedicating his life to studying the universe and protecting it from those who would seek to manipulate it for their own gain. In the end, he found solace in the knowledge that he had done his best to make things right, and that his loved ones would always be with him, forever etched into the fabric of time itself.